Now, I thought the Green Party here in the UK was the party of peace and love, no wars, um, organic chicken and lentil soup, electric cars, uh, help, the sky is falling down. You know, the uh, greasy 1980s long-haired hippie types, or CND. Now, I like to think that the Green Party are very naive indeed when it comes to how the world works. They're the ones who believe a Trojan horse is a gift and bring it in through the door. That's how naive they are. However, when it comes to recent events, I don't think they're that stupid. I think they knew what they were doing and what they were getting themselves into when they decided to allow religious extremists to represent them at the local elections, and many of them won. I think deep down the hierarchy of the Green Party, they are ruthless. They will do whatever it takes to gain power. And they can't help themselves. I think the mask slipped at the local elections. And they knew full well why these religious extremists joined their party and wanted to represent them. And were hoping for a seat in the local governments. It's like YouTubers with their, with their drama streams. They can't help it. They want it. They need it. Sometimes content isn't enough. They will cry and produce drama for their subs and viewers because they get off on it. And it's the same with the Green Party. Now, as you all know, one of these religious extremists, he won for the Green Party and he made headlines when after the count of the results and he walked out the building, he shouted, Allah Akbar, and this is for Gaza. Of course, none of those issues have a sod all to do with green policies and the guy has been investigated. And of course, he's come out with the old <laughs> uh, Islamophobic car, doesn't he? He reckons everyone criticising him for what he said is Islamophobic. Of course, that's not true. People just raise their eyebrows when he shouted slogans that really aren't in line with saving the planet. Now, it's not just him. It turns out there are two other Green Party councillors who are the subject of an internal investigation because they both openly praised and backed Iran's recent attack on Israel. So not only do they have anti-Semitics within their party, they also have warmongers. So what the hell are the Green Party going to do? I'll tell you what they're going to do. Nothing. They will investigate these people just to save face and to show that they're doing something. But the results will hardly be a slap on the wrist. And like I said, it's because the Green Party are ruthless and they need these council seats. If they sack these people, then they're not in power. And the Green Party aren't going to allow that to happen anytime soon. And it's going to happen to a lot of these minor parties, the Lib Dems and others, who these people have joined and their numbers will swell and they will continue their rhetoric of wanting Israel wiped off the map, along with shouting even more of their own ideology slogans, which have nothing to do with any of their party policies and they'll get away with it because these parties know any form of disciplinary action taken against these people and they will have the free plasticine lot, the students currently camped outside their own campuses, camping outside and protesting against them at their own party headquarters. And they don't want that, do they? So there we go. That's what happens. These parties have opened the doors. They have been infiltrated and they will be taken over. And the Green Party won't be the Green Party anymore. And the Lib Dems will no longer be the Liberal Democrats. And all because the top two parties, the Tories and the Labour Party, have refused to address the problem and deal with it. So it's on them. And there we go. I'm Paz49. Thanks for listening. And until the next time, Roger Trout.